Hello and welcome back everybody, AquanZL here, and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, uh, today, um, a couple of smaller things have been uh, released, so I will be going over them. But I'll be going over one of them now and one of them in the next video, which will be uploaded later today. So today will be a double upload. So, so what I first have to talk about is Mana Spirals. We have had new Mana Spirals be announced in, in the, this month, and in case if uh, you weren't aware, they were Yuya and uh, and uh, Serena. Now we finally have information about them. So obviously what I do per video is that I go through what their mana spiral is and more or less I then compare it to, to what they currently are and say what's buffed and say what needs to happen. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and more or less let's now get into it. So. So then, first of all, uh, let's see if I can increase uh, this size. Oh, oh, yes, I can by a lot. There we go. There we go. Much better. Okay. So then, so then, first of all, um, uh, the S one, uh, flame damage and increases entire team's crit rate by ten, by ten percent for ten seconds. That has not changed. We need bigger multiplier on that, most definitely. And now the S two, uh, flame damage directly ahead. That also has not changed. Once again, still need, still need more multiplier than that. Especially that one. Jesus Christ, that's absolutely abysmal. That's absolutely abysmal. Holy shit. And obviously, the co-ops have not changed. Now, um, so seven. Now, add seven percent to the modified apply the critical damage every twenty hit combo up to three times. So up to twenty one percent. And, and that only increased by one percent. Really. Okay, so okay, so pretty much it's now from 18% total to 21%. Obviously, opponent stun res and increase the crit rate by three by uh, not three five percent for every 30 hit combo up to three times. So 90 hits is is 15%. And yeah, yeah, they only increase it by two percent. Wow, they did not change much. Jesus Christ, they did not change much on her. They better buff her mods a lot. They did not change much on her kit at all. Jeez. I mean, yeah, I, I think I prefer this one. Okay, but Jesus Christ, that's not a lot. Okay, so now let's move into Yuya, all right? So Yuya now, um, flame damage increases, uses tag rate by 20% for 10 seconds, changing direction as possible. Wait, I'm gonna switch these two around, there we go. Um, That has not changed, not changed at all. And now, at the S2, defense 10%, strength 15, grants 30% shield. So, 10%, 15%, 20 shield. Okay, so pretty much, uh, Lily of the Shield has increased from 20 to 30%. That's all they changed. Crit rate and the Dragon Haste, those have not changed. Okay, so this is where stuff has changed. So, increase number 20%. When HP is 60% or above, but decreases strength by 20% when HP is less than 60%. That part is the same. But however, they add on more to it. Uh, from here on, th this has changed. So also, every time the Deadly Joyride skill, aka the S1, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, the, that, that is the S1. Every time that skill hits the enemy three times, the user's defense will be reduced by 10% for 5 seconds, but their attack skill damage will be increased by 5%. I, I'm assuming it's also for 5 seconds? Not quite sure on that. This skill damage buff can stack up to an increase of 100%, but all stacks will be lost upon using an attack skill. How can it stack up to 100%? When, when this, when this skill, huh? So pretty much, um, does this stack up to 100%, then it's lost, or? That's my question right now. That's my major question. But beyond that, honestly, that seems pretty gross, actually. Because, we, because well, obviously you can still use uh, shared skills with this skill damage buff as well. Imagine I'm with fucking Karn up, damn. Or, or whatever. Honestly, opponent stun res. That has not changed. And prime devastation. Has it doubled? No, it doubled. It, it doubled. And also, one thing to note here. 
Um, um, Yuya's uh, S1, uh, went and spiraled. Uh, hits more often, has a wider range, and can be more easily directed the, the scheme skill at level 3 or below. Uh, the easier it is uh, to change direction, th the more hits players can reliably land on enemies. So pretty much he is becoming slightly more user friendly on his S1, which can in turn may make his um, ability pretty, pretty good. So yeah, overall, Yuya is definitely interesting. Even you know he's a support character, he is going to do damage. Now as for um Serena, she's a defense unit, but she's crit. I I don't understand that at all. I don't understand that. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever at this point. So more or less, um, what I'm expecting from these spirals. I hope, I really do hope, Serena gets good modifiers, because she lacks modifiers, and her overall kit, it was barely changed, alright? Literally, all they changed was 1%, ma make it potent, then 2%. That's literally all they did. Other than that, they kept the S1 and the S2 exactly the same. That's literally all they changed. So, she better have modifiers now. As for Yuya... Uh, S, uh, S1, same, S2, it's now 30%. That, that I don't care about. And, and, and honestly, Prime Devastation being up more often, well, not up more often, doubled in, in, in its potency, my bad. Um, that's nice. But, but I'm more curious about the next part of his ability. To, to, to determine whether or not he's really, really good or not. Because, because if it works how I think it's going to work, he's going to... He's going to rack up some insane damage later game. He really will. But overall, um, those are my thoughts, and those are what the spirals are. Hopefully you guys do find this helpful. I do know one person will be spiraling um, uh, Serena immediately, so, so, so I'll probably hear from him on that. If it's a he, I don't know. But either way, that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. I will see you then.